This is a quick demonstration of a Solar Ready VDX, in this case 25 file server, um, running in real time off of a small indoor solar panel. So this is one of Solar Ready's small solar panel, 100 pound little panel. To give you an idea, um, it's been raining, no direct sunlight, so I'm just running this at home. So from the outside, effectively one solar panel that's running indoors. It's a 100 watt solar panel, but we bio server needs 22 watts of energy and I've hooked up. So cable out of there basically runs along. And just to show it, it's actually generating energy. If I put this down the carpet, um, I can plug in in real time the light. So hooked up this LED 499 light and in real time effectively we've got a nice bright security light. So power's coming from that, yeah. Which is basically coming there, running along. Um just to show there's not trickery on that. Whoops. Not easy to do everything in one hand, but one cable running from there. Yeah. Comes out of that. So if I take our server and unplug that cable again. Um so our file server is currently running through this CTEC power supply. If I disconnect it, and obviously the server stays on because we have internal capacitors, plug that into the solar panel. And what I'll do is I'll start a stopwatch on my phone. Let's put that down a second. So, if we put that there, uh, start the stopwatch. So, we have a file server, um, it's still up and running. If I run an application on it, it runs nice and quickly. Go to the internet, management tools. So effectively what I've got here at the moment is one physical server running around the back of it. Um, we've got our power coming in off of that panel over there on a double date. We've got a Cat5 cable that's giving it internet. We've got this VGA cable that's going to the monitor and then um, USB keyboard and mouse or wireless keyboard mouse with physically unplugged the 12 volt input. So that's running quite happily. In tests, this normally lasts about eight, nine hours. So I'm not going to bore you and keep the whole thing on for eight or nine hours, but just to give you a rough idea. If I press source on the monitor, this is one of the virtual users logged in, which is um, they're on a primary school application, Excel. We've got a video on here. So if we don't have full screen animation. So there's one virtual machine. Click source, go to one physical machine. Um, up there it shows you what's currently running on the screens. Uh, if I'll click back to the virtual machine. And then over here, effectively running on my TV, I've got an in computing L300, which is hooked up to the TV, that I can run applications on. So if I run another little video. So I've got full screen animations running on two virtual machines, one via the in computing L300. Another one that I see the room is running an LG network monitor, which is 
all integrated with the L300 built into it. One file server, which is a 16 gig of RAM, very low wattage, it's currently drawing 22 watts. Um, it can run a little bit lower than that, but it averages about 22 to 25 if lots and lots of people are using it. We've tested with 40 users running on it, um, we recommend putting 25 on. And it's currently running off of this um, solar panel, which effectively you can put in indoors, low light, doesn't have to be on the roof, doesn't have to be on the outside wall, just enough to keep it going. It's uh, producing about twice as much energy at the moment than we actually need. So even in a, a dull day, like today when it's been raining earlier, it's quite happy. So we've got one virtual machine running over here and another virtual machine running over here. And if I click to the physical machine, press source, take a keyboard, I can look at the management tool and click click on that machine and see what the person is doing on that screen. I can look to see what the person is doing on the, the video screen. They are playing games that might not be allowed. Click out of that. Close that tool down. Um, go to the Microsoft deployment tool, same thing. So on that one I've got pictures of their screen. So I've had 40 users and I could see all their screens. I can project my screen to them, etc, etc. But the demo today is really about um, how long we can get a 25 user file server running off of an internal solar panel on a dull day. And the answer to that when I did the test yesterday, which was actually raining, which was even worse than this, was we got uh, eight and a half hours from it. So today we're starting off at um, sort of 11 o'clock in the afternoon and that should run quite happily. So all our panels have um, internal capacitor and charger built into it, which is in the little box uh, on our switch. They drop through our cable into a power management box then delivers it out to the file servers and it can be delivered over Cat5 cable or as we've got here one of our cables and uh, that will run the file server over there. So I'll come back to it in a, a bit because you're not really going to want to sit here for eight hours. Just put my phone back on. So currently only running for five minutes so far, but I'll check in on a reasonably regular basis just to show you that the server is actually doing something. But. Uh, show you it's live, I go on to internet what am I on the virtual machine um, see go to your website so hopefully you can see this on the camera my internet's currently uploading a, a video so it's really 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 slow so Click on the internet, that's working. Click on source, takes me to the virtual machine. And the virtual machine is running off of Microsoft's multipoint server 2011. Effectively gives you a look and feel of, look and feel of Windows 7 if I run Microsoft Word, um, PowerPoint, Excel, uh, run videos. Play kids' favorite, watch Tom and Jerry. But full screen animations um, starts to slow down when you get to about 20 to 25 users. 25 is normally average to it. Uh, we've tested it up to 40 and it's quite happy to about sort of 35. So if we limit it to about 25, it's recovered. It works pretty well. So it just looks and feels like a normal computer. The difference is 
if a user was actually um, switching on in the morning. It's literally, if I turn the power off of the monitor, this is how long they take from turning on. So, computer turns on and it's available because the file server is on all the time. Uh, it drops down to less than 22 watts in the evening when no one's using it, but on average it's 22 watts. A normal file server can be 700, sometimes 900 watts. So, dramatic difference in energy consumption. These generally run about 95% less than normal boxes and at least 65% less energy than one of the so-called green um, computers. So, very, very energy efficient. So much so that they'll run off of a, a small 15 pounds battery um, for many years. So even after the solar panel dies or the mains backup which dies, the device will last for many years. Oh, I'll go off because I'm boring you. Pause this. Another quick check-in. Um, file server still up and running. I've come back um, 15 minutes later. Everything's still there. Still runs just the same as it did before. Um, over there, it's still running on big screen, running the same movie. Effectively running off of that solar panel along that wire. And then running into the back of the VDX server. So I'll check in in another hour or so. But it will run for many, many hours. Catch you soon. Hey. Hey, Just another hey, check in. Um, I think it's lapsed, but 1 hour 42 minutes. Um, still running. Run Word. Put an application on it. Just to show it's doing something. And effectively, still running in through the solar panel. Which is that there? And the outside light is green boring. So this one still runs. I'll check in there.